Hey guys, welcome to another video of our online learning platform. Um, today we're going to uh, talk about our two tasks that we're going to complete this week. Uh, we're going to talk about um, our playing task, which is pretty simple. We're just going to uh, play through some of our concert music and try to get better at it. Uh, with JV, you guys are learning to Tame the Raging Rapids by Brian Balmages. And uh, in Varsity, um, you guys are going to uh, learn a new piece of music. Well, I guess we've been working on the third movement of Brooke Green Suite, but now you guys are going to learn the first and second movements. Um, after talking with student leadership and with Encore, it looks like uh, that um, we're probably not going to be able to learn the, the bar talk with uh, the amount of time we have out of school um, and, and definitely not up to the, the standards that uh, we're used to doing. Um, sorry, it's just, uh, geez, these briars are really bad out here. Um, so pardon, bear with me while I'm, I'm uh, having to kind of work through some of this as we're talking here. Uh, you're thinking, hey, uh, What's, what's Hooper up to? Is he, is he bugging out? Has he lost faith in society? No, I, I, I keep telling you guys I can't work from home um, because you know my kids are very active boys, you know, and they, they're, they're used to uh, they're used to being in playgrounds and doing all this stuff and, and so uh, they're jumping around doing stuff and I can't really make a video at home. So I went out here to make the video. I think we're in good shape. I lost them about three clicks back, so we're, we got about 15 minutes, so I, I better get going. Um, hope everybody's staying safe, shelter in place, all that good stuff. Um, anyway, so um, everybody should know what to do for the first task. Second task, let's talk a little bit about music theory and, and part writing composition. Um, so we're going to talk about how to make a, a good melody. So we're going to use air quotes, good melody, for the purpose of this project. There's a lot of good melodies out there. Um, but um, for the purpose of this project, I'm going to give you guys some guidelines on how to make a quote-unquote good melody. Um, Scriabin said that uh, to create is to limit. And so we're going to put some guidelines in place so that we limit the number of possibilities so that it makes it easier for you guys to write. So what is a quote unquote good melody? And, and I want everybody to try to write at least one of these. Now again, if it's too stressful and you're flipping out about this, oh, how am I supposed to do this? You know, don't worry, just, you know, do what you can. If you don't want to, uh, that's fine. You know, whatever. It's not for a grade or anything. Gosh, I'm seriously like, Look at how thick, can, can you see this? See how thick these briars are? It's ridiculous. Anyway, so uh, for how do we make a quote unquote good melody? So a good melody um, is really usually pretty simple, okay? Basically, we have a lot of stepwise motion um, that we use. So what's the difference between a step and a leap? A step is like from C to D or D to E, or E to F, F to G, you know, up or down one letter of the alphabet, our musical alphabet. What is a leap? A leap is something greater than that. You know, C to E, C to F, F to G. Um, so we, uh, sorry, um, we, uh, we're going to uh, mostly have stepwise motion. Can you have leaps? Yeah, of course. But the whole thing shouldn't be leaps. Um, it should just be sporadic, you know, every once in a while there's a leap. So we're going to try to create a two bar melody in 4-4 time. All right. And uh, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be a pretty short melody. And we're going to take the melodies that you write, we're going to look at them, we're going to see what's going well, what's not going well. So uh, if you make mistakes, that's a good thing because we're going to be able to learn from them. Um, and also, 
uh, as we expand on this, we're gonna be taking these melodies that you have, or if you don't like yours, maybe you can borrow somebody else's um, that posted theirs to Schoology and you can harmonize that melody because next week we're gonna learn about how to harmonize our melodies. Okay, so um, mostly stepwise motion. Simple rhythms, what does that mean? It means it's gonna be a lot of quarter notes, maybe a half note. Okay, please do not write two whole notes. That's going to be really silly and you're not going to be able to harmonize that very well later on. So a lot of quarter notes, maybe a dotted quarter note every now and then. Dotted quarter note, eighth note. Okay, but don't think Bartok here. Don't think Stravinsky. Okay, um, for the purposes of this quote unquote good melody, we are just going to be, you know, writing very simple rhythm. Okay, so um, mostly stepwise motion simple rhythm. Now, melodically, and melodic is horizontal motion, okay, not vertical motion, that's harmony. Melodically speaking, uh, we are going to be uh, not using any dissonant intervals, okay? So what would be a dissonant interval? Uh, that would be like a tritone, a major seventh, something like that. All right, so Think about if you use stepwise motion um, melodically, you're going to be in good shape. Um, if you use fourths and fifths, okay, as long as they're perfect fourths and fifths, that's you're going to be in good shape. Um, you know, so uh, just avoid if something sounds weird. You know, you play it back and something sounds weird. You know, you might want to change it. If, it. if it sounds, you're like, oh, what was that? You know, that's a good indication that uh, maybe you might want to fix that that melody and uh and take a different look at you know pick a different note okay so what are the other features of a good melody your leaps should be no greater than a fifth so what's a fifth you take one note and you go up five notes that's a fifth all right so like from c to g for instance that shouldn't be that should be the maximum leap that you go for this quote unquote good melody um so we've got Again, mostly stepwise motion, simple rhythms, no dissonant intervals, no leaps greater than a fifth. That's the basics for a good melody. Now let's think about some advanced techniques if you want to start getting advanced. If, if you're good here and you're like, all right, that's good enough for me, that's basic enough for me, and you're like, look, uh, D major scale, that, that's all your rules, Mr. Trooper. Look, it's you know, simple, all quarter notes, eight notes, D to D. You know, it follows all your rules. We're in good shape here. Okay, fine. You know, we'll harmonize that. Next week, if you want to try something a little more adventurous, put a couple leaps in there, change the rhythm a little bit. Okay, try that. Uh, that'll work too. All right, we'll, we're just going to do uh, what's comfortable for you. But here's some advanced things, how to, how to approach and resolve leaps. So in a, in a good melody, okay, if you're about to have a leap, uh, it's best if it's approached by step in the opposite direction, okay? So if you're going to leap from E to G, maybe you should approach it with an F first. And that F is going to set up the leap. And then when you're done leaping, it's best to resolve by step in the opposite direction. So again, you go from F to E and E to G, and then we're going to go from G back to F. Okay, so we've approached the leap by step in the opposite direction. We resolved the leap by step in opposite direction. Now there is an exception to this. Now let's say that you have an arpeggio uh, and that uh, you are gonna use an arpeggio like um, E, G, C is an arpeggio. And it's in first inversion as it's written here. But there's two leaps in a row and it's not approached by step or resolved by step. Okay, that's fine. Just think of the whole arpeggio as one leap in your melody and you can set that up. So start it with an F, resolve downward by step, leap up, you know, leap up to the G, leap up to the, the high C. And then where are we gonna go now? We just leapt up, so we're gonna step. That's right, down, down to B. Okay, see how that works? Now you can play these melodies on your instruments if you want to. Um, you can uh, you can use uh, right now. Um, smart Music's got a deal where anybody can get a Smart Music trial until June. That's going to be a really long time. 
So you can get a smart music trial and they're owned by the makers of Finale, Finale, which is a company that makes software notation, one of the most popular software notation uh, platforms out there. And um, so you can get access to smart music and they have some composition tools so you can use the stuff online to write music. You could just write it down on a piece of paper, you know, draw five lines, draw your staff, you know, and your time signature, all that good stuff. Um, and then we can go from there. Okay, I'd like to see you guys write at least one melody. Um, this assignment's supposed to take around 30 minutes, okay? So maybe write multiple melodies. I'd like to see you guys post them, you know, take a picture and post them in Schoology. That's the high-tech option. For the low-tech option, what we're gonna do is you're just going to um, keep them at home and you're gonna turn them in at a later time, okay? And you're probably thinking, oh, well, Mr. Hooper, when is that later time? You know, when are we going back to school? All right, well, 